Okay, this is a short demonstration of the uh, crystal tester that I built. Um, basically it's a simple circuit board based on a commonly available uh, circuit on the internet. Uh, the difference is from most of the ones I think is this one has the ability to uh, you know, tell you just that a, a circuit is or a crystal is working uh, with a go no go light. So uh, as you can see it's uh, I've installed three different uh, crystal sockets. Um, the third one is not a crystal socket. I didn't have one for the uh, uh, for this style. <clears throat> I just found that a uh, fan uh, socket from a, a box fan worked just fine. Um, it fits perfectly. So um, the device works pretty good off of between seven and nine volts. Uh, can go lower than that, but then the uh, LED does not work. <clears throat> I also added a potentiometer so that uh, I could control the harmonics or overdriving of the the crystals because uh, each crystal seems to or some of the crystals seem to have different voltage characteristics that they or different voltages that they like. So, anyways, um, let's plug it up here. I have a regulated, a variable regulated power supply that's putting out nine volts. And if we take a crystal and put it in here, <clears throat> um, you'll see that the no go no go light comes on. Uh, that indicates that the crystal is at least, uh, you know, oscillating. And I will hook up my oscilloscope and frequency counter. And we will take this crystal, which is marked as 8160 kilocycles, and we put it in here. And you'll see we have this horribly... Uh, distorted sine wave, <clears throat> and if I adjust these uh, the pot, I can get uh, a much better sine wave. <clears throat> I can then uh, take measurements and uh, see that we have six point. 1.6 on the oscilloscope and 6. Point, or I'm sorry, 8.16 on the oscilloscope and 8.16 on the frequency counter. And of course, right in the middle of all this, my cat has to be involved. Um, interesting, we're getting a uh, Peak to peak voltage of about 800 millivolts. <clears throat> so let's try a different crystal. Let's try this one. Uh, it's 6275 kilocycles. And adjust the uh, I probably should have put a uh, a pot that could be adjusted finer, but this is the best I could find at the time. And we have. Six point two five and thereabouts. 
and uh, frequency counter says 6.27497 which is pretty close so also the go no go light is on so this crystal works also and here is a crystal that is marked very hard to read by one of these other ones okay this one is marked 100 megahertz probably doesn't run at that frequency but let's see what we get Getting about 20. I'm going to reduce the voltage and see if we can get a cleaner sine wave. Some of these crystals require higher voltages than others. That's about as clean as we're going to get from that. <clears throat> and we can also test out these. Um, This one is marked as 158.73 megacycles. I'm not sure what it actually resonates at, but And I think that's actually, there's a number on the side with that, that um, frequency printed on it. So uh, this crystal is working just fine. Well, I think that's about it.